Okay, so to create a XY layer or a point layer from a CSV file, um, I'm going to go into my Lecture 9 folder, Data, and then you see timhortons.csv. And that's a CSV file like you saw on the previous slide. So a comma-separated comma values file. Now I'm going to go to the Tim Hortons in my contents pane and open it up just to have a look at what's inside of there. And you can see that we have longitude, latitude, and address. So that information is there, the longitude corresponding to X and the latitude to Y. So I'll just close that for now. Next, to create a what we call an event layer or an XY point layer, I right click on Tim Hortons and I say display XY data. Then it automatically fills in for me Tim Hortons, the output feature class, um, where that's going, and you should name that something appropriate obviously, and know where you put it. It's going into my default project geodatabase. Then X field, longitude, Y field, latitude, already filled in because they're in the table. And ArcGIS Pro is smart enough to recognize those two names and what they would correspond to as X and Y coordinates. There is no Z coordinate. And then the coordinate system is WGS84. So I need only click run at this point and it will create an XY layer and it will then display it on the map, as you can see here. We have three points. There's one here, I can click on it, and it will open up the attributes for that point. I can click on the second point over here, see the attributes and the attributes there. And that's how you create a event layer from, or an XY point layer from a CSV file and it's now a new feature class so it's permanent and so I could use that with other data